so I usually like to start off my day at around 12.30 in the morning where I'll get out of bed and jump straight onto my trading setup and then from there I'll turn on my laptop to get all the monitors turned on and in the morning I don't really like bright lights so I'll turn on some sort of ambient lighting such as my desk light as well as my nano leaf wall lights as well just to kind of set the mood and get the setup nice and right so then I'll make sure to log on to my PC and then in the middle is where I usually have my trading view turned on and then on the right hand side which is the vertical screen is where I have my MT5 and then on my laptop screen is where I'll have Forex Factory and Telegram Web open where I usually send out my signals and then from there I'll just start looking for trading setups during New York session and if I do find one I'll let you guys know. Right guys so I've had to just rushfully enter the trade because the opportunity was slipping away from me so if I turn around and show you exactly what I'm looking at as you can see price came um, into the market with a lot of volume and I was ideally looking to enter somewhere around over here but as you can see from my MT5 we ended up getting entries at the close of this candle because it was a huge bullish engulfing and I ideally wanted to see price ideally come back before I look for another entry but it didn't end up doing that and it just ended up pushing straight up into profit however nonetheless I still ended up entering with just a small lot size because um, there is a lot of volume coming in and now what I want to see is price coming up at to around this region over here if I look to roll my stops to break even because there is a huge surge of volume in the market as you can see so I'm targeting these highs over here so let's see how it goes now whilst we let this trade run I just want to exactly emphasize the fact that this is a quick announcement to let you guys know that the course is now on sale for £99 this is your time to capitalize as I'll be teaching you my strategy from A to Z in detail I guarantee you that there are things within this course that you guys have never learned before from the way I read market structure to how I exactly enter my trades so if you guys are interested use the code YT99 to get your course for £99 psychology plays such an important role when you are trading in the markets once you've learned your strategy and you're confident with it that's when psychology becomes a huge huge playing factor like you can see today in today's trade definitely formal was a playing factor in this because i was eyeing up this trade before new york session volume pushed it and i was waiting for the right opportunity to enter in on this trade however as i saw that huge bullish engulfing i still knew that i could get in on this opportunity due to the momentum that it was pushing it up so i just ended up entering with a small lot size and that's within my strategy when i do see um price slipping away and i feel a bit of formal i'll still enter the trade but with an extremely small lot size just so i can eradicate that fear of missing out now as we speak i see price pushing up into our favor which is fantastic and this is exactly um what i was expecting price action to do and also at the back of my mind um, I have that if price does retrace back down my stops are going to be rolled to break even so now at this point I'm just risk free and that just really calms my emotions down as well and the reason I'm trying to talk through my psychology at this moment as well is to help you guys also um, relate and not feel like just because I've been doing this for years um, I don't have no emotions I still feel some sort of emotions like I was feeling formal and now I, I do feel like if price does retrace back down um, it would be a break even but having the ability to control your emotions and not letting that get the better of you and sticking to your strategy is what what the important part is so for me it helps me to just verbalize how exactly i'm feeling at the moment when i'm taking a trade and then overriding that emotion by sticking to the strategy and repeating what needs to be done at each stage of, of the process so for example now since i'm in the trade now it's just a um now it's just a case of either letting price action hit TP, letting it hit stop loss, or if it fails to create a higher high. These are like my three key criteria in my mind, which I repeat over and over again to prevent me from um, just closing the trade out of fear. Now, since this trade is a bit different because I ended up getting late entries and I do feel like price will retrace back down from the five minute supply, I'll end up closing it at the five minute supply just to prevent going through unnecessary drawdown but if this was a trade where I took proper entries from exactly I wanted I would let this trade run and let it do its thing unless it failed to create that higher high so I know it's running out of steam 
but this is a different case but overall that is my general tip for you guys as well have a set of um, trade management plans as well so once you've entered the trade you know exactly what you're doing and this is definitely discussed in a lot more detail in my course with a lot of examples which I've laid out step by step so if you guys are interested you can definitely check that out as well now as price moves into my favor I'm going to now look to um, close the trade because I'm more than happy with the um, the target is reached because this is ultimately the five minute level of supply over here and since we wasn't able to get the best of entries I do definitely expect some sort of retracement to come back from here so since I don't want to go back into drawdown I'm just going to look to close the trade right over here as you can see right well, let me just give you a quick analysis of why exactly I was looking for this trade and why exactly I, I executed this trade so confident right so we need to start our analysis on the four hour time frame as you can see on euro usd the four hour is bullish so i was looking for buys and buys only that is my um direction determining factor then on the hourly time frame you can see we've seen a nice push up so if i use this tool over here you can see a nice push up then we've seen a retest back at that level of demand now once i saw that we can again if you zoom in closely you can see several rejection candles which gave me the confidence that this level is going to hold and give us some sort of reaction whether it's a small reaction or a big new leg being formed some reaction was going to be given and so i was confident to drop down to the five minute time frame to take my entries now on the five minute time frame you can see we just dropped and extremely melted we then retraced and price has failed to give us that next pull back down and as you can see this level of um, support started to hold we got many rejections many weaknesses many exhaustions at this zone and then what do we get we got a nice bullish engulfing followed by some sort of retracement and then that huge follow through pushing up and i ended up entering roughly around over here due to the fact that i ended up missing my entry due to the huge volume candle which pushed it up i was ideally waiting for just a small engulfing right above over here to get that entry but a win is a win and i'm happy with this trade <clears throat> and that's basically the simple premise of why i ended up taking buys on euro usd